Howdy folks, Nathan Adlin here at the Fast Lane Truck with my buddy, Andre Smirnoff. And here's the question. You have a big trailer and you want to have it towed by either a half-ton truck or a mid-size truck. Here we have a 2016 Chevy Colorado Z71 with the Duramax and... And our good old truck, the Raptor. Yep, and we're going to do a series of evaluations. A zero to 60 towing, handling on the highway. That's right. Here's the thing. You guys really want us to do this, we're gonna do it for you, but we are going to use the Raptor because that is our studio truck and it's the one we're most familiar with. And for this evaluation, we're not gonna be using a weight distributing hitch for a couple of reasons. First, this trailer is about 4,500 pounds. And also, we wanna see how each truck handles the load with no assist from the weight distributing hitch. Sometimes it's not about the weight, but actually it's about the size. That's true. That's true. I mean, if you think about how trailers are shaped, if this was a horse trailer or, or if there was a boat behind us, right. we could tow more and... And more stable. Right, it'd be more stable because it's aerodynamic and, yep. and whatnot. But in this case, we're basically hauling a giant rectangle. Of course, these trucks are very different, right? They are, and I bet you guys are wondering why we selected the Chevy Colorado with the diesel. And that is because it has the best towing in its class. And a lot of people who are going to buy a diesel mid-sized truck want to tow with it. I mean, it is the best possible truck you can get currently that tows. Okay, so we have some sandbags here so we can shift the weight and get the ton weight on the hitch just right at 10%. Overall weight of the trailer and this cargo here is 4,800 pounds. And we want about 480 pounds on the hitch. Can you tell that we're towing anything? A little bit. Yeah. So when we've gone over a few of the bumps, I could kind of feel the rear end kind of lag a little bit. Yeah, because there's an extra kind of push two axles yeah. and a little bit of push from the hitch. But it does. But the, 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 the tail is not wagging the dog. Nope. Nope. It's and of course this truck is really wide. Yeah. It's the widest uh, half ton basically on, uh, out there. But with these mirrors, these standard mirrors, I still want a little bit of extra, you know, width on the mirror. Whoa, dude. You feel that? I'm getting a little bit of a wiggle. Yep. Now remember, we're not using a weight distributing hitch. I'm going 70, and um, the trailer is actually wiggling. I'm yeah. not very comfortable. The tail right is now. wagging the dog right now. We can actually feel it in the seat of our pants that the body is doing a little bit of a shimmy. And this is the whole point about this video, right? Right. Even though this, by weight, this truck is no problem handling this. No problem. But by size, it's not. Yep. By the way, I'm getting 23 MPG average. <laughs> this is, this this is where the diesel. Duramax shines. Yeah, this little diesel is just a gem. You know, I'm gonna bet that with the trailer, 4,800 pounds, I think zero to 60 at a mile above sea level, I think you're gonna do 15. Nope, I think I'll do much less. Really? Yep. Okay, well, show me. Yeah, this is a beast. Let's do it. All right, give it maximum output this time. And three, two, one, go. Slightly better check. Not bad. Okay, we're at 10 seconds. <laughs> Indeed, 13.72. I think you're gonna do 18 seconds. Uh, a little slower than the Raptor. Oh, it'll be, oh, yeah. It'll be slower than the Raptor, but... 18. I think it'll be a little faster than 18. Again? This, okay, all right, This let's thing's go. got torque, dude. All right. All right, let's rev it. And away we go. Ooh, 
little bit of this with it. Come on. The problem with torque with these uh, diesels is that it goes, 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 and then it falls off a cliff. All right, come on, baby. 55, it's 16 seconds. And 19. I can't seem to get below 20. 20.3. Now, for those of you guys out there going, oh my God, that's slow, that's horrible. You know, that's actually not too bad, especially considering the fact that we are over a mile above sea level. So that does affect the time, even with the turbo diesel, you still are getting less power. After these two tests, the answer is obvious. You have to match the truck to the trailer. In this case, you have an eight foot wide trailer and you gotta pick the full size truck. And bottom line, if you, this is something you're gonna do often, you really should consider getting a larger truck. Yep. Go back to tfltruck.com for more news views and real world reviews. Hasta la vista. Yep. And we're going to be doing more of these. We need to introduce the heavy duties in this. Oh, yeah. And do a lot more different testing. So stay tuned. By the way, we did an MPG 100 mile loop in both the Canyon Duramax, which is the brother truck to this, and right. the Raptor. That's right. And we got what, 9.3? On the Raptor, the yeah, Raptor. and 12.3 in the Duramax, the baby Duramax. And they're both towing the same uh, same load, load same trailer, uh, 5,600 pounds, so you could click above to see those videos.